Hello again. I've got another streaming recommendation for you. This is Jared Case, curator of film exhibitions at the Dryden Theater and at the George Eastman Museum. On Mondays, we've been highlighting films, titles from the Nitrate Picture Show that have shown at the Nitrate Picture Show in the first five years. And uh, if you have been paying attention to our social media feeds or you receive emails from the George Eastman Museum, you've probably heard that we have had to uh, postpone the sixth Nitrate Picture Show from June 2020 to June 2021. Uh, we're very saddened by this, and um, we hope that you will all be able to join us uh, for the festival in 2021. Uh, if you've bought a pass, you've purchased a pass, and you want to know what to do with it, uh, please go to eastman.org slash NPS, and there's a link for a form there where you can tell us whether you want to uh, have a f complete refund or if you want to transfer your pass to the weekend in 2021, we can absolutely do that for you. Or if you're very generous and you want to support the museum in other ways, if you want to donate that pass to the museum, we would be very happy and very appreciative of your generosity. So the film that I'm highlighting today is actually from the second year of the festival. Uh, it's Vittorio De Sica's The Bicycle Thieves from 1948. Now, this was a print that showed from our own collection. Uh, the film came out in 1948, and it was donated to us in 1953 from the original American distributor. So, obviously, this was an American release print of the neorealist uh, film from Vitt Vittorio De Sica. So, uh, the film is about a man who needs to find work. He's trying to support his family. He's got a wife and, and two children. And uh, the jobs are very scar scarce. They're, they're hard to come by. So he does get a job with the government uh, going around putting up posters around the city, which happened to be for Gilda for some reason. I'm very happy to see that. And he needs a bike in order to do that, to get around to all the spots where the posters need to go up. Unfortunately, his bike is in hock, and he needs to get that out so they hock their sheets so they can get the bike, so he can do the job and then hopefully get his family somewhat out of the troubles that they're in. Unfortunately, very early into the job, his bike is stolen, and he spends much of the film trying to track down not only the bike, but also the thief that took it. And in the end, I'm going to spoil it a little bit for this 70-year-old uh, film, he turns then into a bicycle thief of his own, uh, which is why some of the... Um, film prints that you see will have it in the plural title as it is in the Italian, Bicycle Thieves as opposed to Bicycle Thief. He actually becomes one of those Bicycle Thieves. And this actually is an interesting sort of um, analogy to film noir. Uh, film noir has often been associated with poetic realism in France, and I see some noir elements in here because for me, film noir is about that transgression. It's about breaking some sort of societal, social, more or code, uh, breaking a law, which um, then the film explores exactly what brought this person to that decision and why they would make that decision to transgress. So certainly there are some similarities here between uh, that definition of film noir and The Bicycle Thieves uh, as he becomes someone who had been following his own moral code but then breaks that uh, in order to keep his family afloat, or at least attempt to. It's a wonderful film, and it is uh, now streaming on the Criterion channel. Uh, please come back for more recommendations, and please uh, be patient with us as we work through things on the Nitrate Picture Show, and we hope you'll be able to sign up again for 2021. All best.